Hi everyone, this is just a quick follow-up video. I did a review of this Best Tech inverter a couple of days ago. Now one of the things I did was test a bigger power hair dryer. Now I never expected it to work because this is a 1000 watt hair dryer and this is a 400 watt inverter. So I was expecting it to give a power fault error anyway and it was a demonstration to show that when it's over current it would turn off to protect itself. But then one of my viewers, Adam Welch, I think the name is, made a good point that perhaps the power supply I was using to test it wasn't powerful enough, and perhaps this accessory socket that I used wasn't good enough because the wires are just very thin. So we're gonna do another test today, connect it up to a battery. This is a deep cycle battery, connect it directly and see what happens this time. And by the way, the room I'm in right now is so hot, so yeah, please excuse me. So to start with, I'm still gonna use this little accessory socket adapter, but instead of using my original power supply, I'm gonna use this battery. So let's plug in the hairdryer and see what happens. So the inverter is on. We're getting around 220 volts. And there you go, we had a power fault as soon as I tried to turn this on. Let's turn it off and try one more time. Same thing, power fault. Now we're going to do the same test, but we're going to use these thick crocodile clips that came with the inverter to see if that helps. So let's turn it on. 220 volts. Let's try the hair dryer. There you go. And it's drawing around 200 watts. So yes, I made a mistake. Um, I was so focused on proving the fact that this has protection is over current that I didn't actually take into account that the wires providing the power weren't actually thick enough. So let's try put it on its full power. This time I'm imagining it will cut off because it's not meant to support 1000 watts. There you go. Tried to draw too much power and it's caused a fault. Although that time it actually auto reset itself. And again, auto reset. So that's something we didn't see last time. It went red with a power fault, rebooted itself and it's back on. So yes, I stand corrected. I did make a mistake in my first video. Um, it could handle the hairdryer on setting one, which is around 200, 250 watts. And then if you try and go higher, for instance, it's top setting a thousand watts, then it will turn itself off to protect itself because it's not designed to handle something that heavy. So thanks to the commenter. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.